months ago when the Source 2 hype was just starting up, we did this poll. It was more so of a joke. There was zoo skins, bomb skins, and grenade skins. And now we know zoo skins are going to be coming. And now with the most recent update, it seems like grenade skins are next. So what would your honest opinion be on something like this? Obviously there will be people who hate on it, but it's just going to be another cosmetic for Valve to sell. There will be a bunch of different possibilities if they actually decide to add these into the game. But moving on, with the recent summer sale, they have put the Steam Deck up to 20% off. As well as this though, let's take a look at the new Inferno, as in the game files there is brand new screenshots. Here we have the new B bomb site for the Inferno remake, it looks absolutely crazy. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. For quick comparisons, here's CSGO. Here we're taking a look at the exit of T-Spawn, where we really get to see the crazy architect and the vibe for the new map. It has a really nice overall tone, especially compared to what we have at the moment. The A bomb site is bright and barely looks the same, graveyards changed, and overall everything looks amazing. You take a look at the same area in CSGO, you'll see the crazy amount of detail that has been added. As well, take a look at this area, this is church, it's been completely changed around, it barely even looks like it's the same place. It has extremely high ceilings, while the CSGO church looked nothing similar. The entire market is crashing at the moment, millions of dollars worth of skins are actively getting banned, and this is not stopping at all. We recently talked about a few bans roughly adding up to around 2 million dollars, and well today, there has been really a bunch more. You can see this inventory right here, top 88 with over 200k on it, banned. This one, top 19, over 400, almost 500k, gone. And really many, many, many more, all just actively getting banned throughout today. And it honestly just seems like this isn't the end either, as it just continues to keep happening. And well, as you can see, many people are just actively selling off any items they can, as many people are worried what this is going to be leading to. One of the banned players tried to reach out to Steam support, and this was their reply. The account you are writing in for has been locked for violating the terms of the Steam subscriber agreement. The account has been identified as being used for commercial purposes based on trading, community reports, and other factors. This lock is permanent, and Steam support cannot help you further with this. Closing the ticket, leaving the guy with no help. And well, this is happening to pretty much all of these accounts that are actively getting banned. Remember, these people getting banned are supplying gambling sites and also money laundering crazy amounts of money. If you're just a normal player, I wouldn't be too worried, but it's definitely shaking everything up quite a bit. Definitely expecting more bans to be coming through, whether it's in a few hours or in a few days. Also, in the most recent update, they went ahead and changed Catavita 2019 stickers. They made the outer parts to the stickers a little bit brighter. It's not anything groundbreaking, but it does seem like they are actively going through most of them and adjusting it. This video is partnered with Keydrop. They're currently running a brand new event called Need for Skins, which brings some fun new game modes, as well as a fresh battle pass system. The more you play, you're able to rise the ranks on the site, earning better rewards the more you progress. There's also daily free cases for you to collect. Make sure to use my code WATER before it's too late.